Hey y'all. <clears throat> so it has been a minute since I've done some favorites. So we're gonna talk favorites, what I got in, what um kind of like excited me recently. And I'm gonna keep it well, so I'm normally I do everything together, but because it's been quite some time and I got quite a I got a lot of stuff to show y'all, I am um going to separate it into like two different um i'm doing two different ones so this is going to be like food it's gonna be everything other than fragrances and when i say fragrances i mean perfumes because i got a lot that i want to talk about for a hot minute that i haven't that i've kind of touched on but haven't given them a full full vibe on why they my favorites right now and what's been like snatching my soul so we're going to talk about these things that have been like really cool and I, you know, maybe y'all want to hear about them. We'll see. Stay tuned. <sighs> okay, I know I look different because I totally forgot to do the fails. So I'm inserting this because I always like to do the fails first. Don't you like to watch fails first? Because usually the fails are shorter. And I like to do fails first so we get them out the way. It's like ripping a band-aid off and then you get into the good stuff. So we here's a few fails. Uh, okay, where's the first one? This is a fail. This is Peach and Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer. Wanna wonder why this is a fail? Watch this. That's right. I can't get into it. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to break it so I can actually try it because I might like it. Because by the time, and I know y'all going, why didn't you turn it? Turn it? Because by the time I tried it, I had had it so long sitting here that, yeah, I don't, I, it's too late. I couldn't return it. My fault. Teaches me. See, that's what happens when you're not using stuff like you used to. Like, I would have found this out within a few days of having this if I was wearing my makeup all correct. But now I got this whole blurring product, and I like Peach and Lily. Okay, let me stop talking. Okay, that was the one thing. Then I have this. Which is this Acura Brightening Super Greens Serum. The reason why, because it just really didn't do anything for me. It just made me look a little, it says, you know, bask in your luminous gorgeousness. I did look luminous. I just looked like I dipped my face in chicken grease, though. It was just not, it was, it did not air on the side of luminous. It was on the side of greasy as hell. So, no. And then I got two body care items. The first is this one. This is the super disappointing one. This is Dove's Cherry and Chia Milk. This is what happens when I listen to people talking. See, that's why I don't listen to people. So I heard, oh my God, this smells so good. Oh my God, it's such the best cherry. And when you smell it and hear, it does smell really good, right? So I was like, oh yes, cherry body wash. Well... When you put it on your skin, there is no cherry and rinse it off. There is no cherry. Matter of fact, I really didn't smell the cherry in the shower. You know, sometimes you could just at least smell it in the shower. Absolutely not. It was it was a very disappointing. Now, of course, the formula is fine. It's Dove. It's the Dove body wash. Dove makes really good body washes. But it, for the scent, oh no. And see, this is what I get because people are doing just like I did and going, oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, it's good here, but it, what's the point if it ain't good on my skin? Okay. And then finally, this one. This is the Wind Down Body by TPH. This is the Yalang Yalang and Palo Santo. Now, the scent is nice. It leans more toward Palo Santo than Yalang Yalang, which is not, you know, I would have preferred the other way. However, this is the problem with it right now. This got chamomile in is this if y'all notice the top is off why because i had to break it off to use it now it says this is a thick and mega creamy okay th this is beyond mega creamy it absolutely is difficult to get out once i did i could not get it out through the little little top and then i did this and i and literally i had to like try to get it out it was just ridiculous trying to get it out it is super thick which 
you would think would be good but no it's a little just it just airs on the side of too thick which makes it difficult to even use and then you know you're trying to get it out and then you get a big glop of it out and to be quite frank is if you have to like be okay with a cleanser that doesn't suds up because this isn't really gonna suds up which is okay but like i said it's now the scent is wonderful on your skin you get the little palo santo more palo santo than y'all on your lung like i said which i would like it to lean the other way but otherwise it's all right all right but this mess right here all right so that is it for my fails not too many <laughs> sorry i just something just fell on my foot all right talk to you all later let's go to the rest of the actual video Okay, so I'm going to start with food, I think. Because I got a few food items I wanted to show y'all. This is the first one. And I need to go get some more. <laughs> I found this at Aldi's. This is called... Okay, so I'm trying to eat better. Let me just... Let me preface this by... I'm trying to eat better, cut my carbs because... Whoo, baby. Carbs is life. But carbs is also all over my ass and my thighs and all that. So I'm trying to cut them, you know, and still enjoy life. I got a tuna salad that I've been doing. I think I'm going to do it today for this week. Oh, baby, it's so good. But anyway, I digress. So with that, you know, I, in real talk, I'm, I eat pasta here and there. I've been eating a little more. But anyway, so anyway, let me just tell you what I'm doing. This is Palmini, and this is Hearts of Palm Angel Hair. Found this at Aldi's. I promise y'all I'm about to go back there and get some more just to make sure. Because you know what? Aldi's should be, be coming in and out. So I'm going to go back and see can I find some more and get, you know, stack it up. But anyway, this is Hearts of Palm. And so what it is, is there's a couple ways you could do it. You could just um, put, you know, put it in a, uh, and, it, and, and it does look like angel um angel hair pasta so the way you can do it is you could just rinse it off and then toss it with your sauce but it's a little more crunchy right so the way i did it um is that i then um wanted a softer texture so i put it um i put it into to boiling water you know and i did it for like five minutes on boiling water i'm trying to remember how i did it because I'm reading. So I just put in some boiling water for like five minutes because I didn't want it to get mushy, but I wanted to give it a little more, you know, so it wasn't quite so crunchy to give it a little more pasta -y texture. This is so good. So you just toss it with your set with your sauce, and you are good to go. So this is Paul Meaty. Um, I don't have the bag for that because I threw it away, but I found these. Um, because trying to snack a little different. Lead the lead the Doritos alone, lead the salt and vinegar chips sometimes alone <laughs> i found some salt and vinegar chicharrones though that is doing it for me okay but anyway um so i found these they're called lupini and they are I, well i'll put the thing up here i think they're called lupini um but they're they're beans and i got the rosemary and garlic ones they have other flavors but i got those i'm gonna buy them again i got them off of thrive market because i um was trying the, them out um and and they was asking way too much money for me to be a member to buy food but i'll tell y'all that story later so anyway i got them and they're really quite good. Now, let me say this. They are not for everybody. Mainly because of the way they... Because they're they're beans. And so it's kind of wet because of the seasoning on it. So it's kind of wet. But it's not. And it, you just munch on them. And they're very low in carbs and everything. But they, they're really satisfying to me. Because I like savory kind of snacks a lot. I can... Sweets, I can do it out quite... For quite some time every once in a while i want some sweets but i can really do without sweets but it's the savory snacks that get me so the last savory snack that we're going to talk about is my edamames so i tried two different ones these are the ones i like and let me tell you i am not a huge flavored kind of thing for those type of things but i like them with enough salt to lightly salt it and make it good like you know when you go get some edamame from like you know when you go and get it out you know it's salted it's got a little salt to it and so these this brand right here i'm just gonna put the picture up 
has the, has the salt that I need in order for me to want them. So those are the edamame that I get. So those are three food things that I wanted to share. Now, we're going to go into a couple of shows that I don't think I've ever talked to y'all about. And I found a new one. Okay. So, um, there's three shows I want to tell you about. Now, unfortunately, they're on Amazon Prime but I also have a subscription to BritBox and Acorn on there, which are um, more like they do New Zealand shows, South Africa, a couple of South African show and a lot of English shows. And I love mystery shows. They're just like, you know, they're just very entertaining and they just some calming to me. Right. So the first one I'm going to tell you all about is Broken Wood Mysteries. I've been watching this for a while. Broken Wood Mysteries is a New Zealand based um, show and it's kind of quirky and everything it's got a quirkiness to it it's a mystery show it's really good um i'm not gonna go too deep into it but it's like it's, and it's got recurring characters that are quite interesting you know like they got one that's, that's called frodo he he's in it for he's been in it for seasons now and um and then the the um the the star, which I love, is not like good looking. You know what I'm saying? We're not doing this. Oh, he's a he's just a chill older guy. He's there. He's been married a few times. He's got a few things that he don't really talk about, but it's kind of underlying. Owns his, you know, got him. Um, I think he owns. He bought in a, a house and it's got a little, you know, because New Zealand is known for wine. So he's a, he's got a little, you know, vineyard and his stuff, and he drinks his wine. And it's just a really cool, quirky mystery show. And the, the mysteries are longer than you know. The thing about a lot of foreign um, shows is that the seasons aren't that long. They're only like seven or eight, six to eight episodes. But these are longer episodes. They're close to two hours. So you get really, it's like a whole lot going on. And it's like really well told. So I love Broken Women Mysteries. Then I was talking about, and I, I'm going to find it because I can't remember the name of it. So I cannot say it, but I'm going to put it right here so you can see what I'm talking about. And it's this mystery show. It's a South African show. And I'm hoping they get another season because it's based on, it's got food. Every episode has to do with food. Um, and she, cause she's, um, she's, a, she's a kind of like a chef, but like a home chef. And so she winds up being a, like, almost like a, 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 a Ann Landers, you know, Dear Abby kind of vibe. Um, she winds up getting this job at this because she, they were phasing out what she was doing at the, um, at the news, little newspaper. So she winds up doing this Dear Abby thing and she always infuses a lot of her answers with a recipe. And so it's not just the mystery because it's an ongoing mystery, which I like. I like shows that kind of have like, not like, it's not just, okay, every time we have a mystery and we're going to solve it, but it has this ongoing underlying mystery. And so this one has a mystery that's going on through it. But it also has a storyline every time. And she always is making this incredibly beautiful food. And it's just, that's what get, that's what got me. And the show was good too, but it's, it's the food that really got me. Okay, so that. And now I've been recently watching, I found this the other day and I've been binge watching it. There's five seasons of it. It's called Balthazar. And he's a forensic expert in... France. It's a French show. So it's kind of, it's cute. It's funny. He's like really a jackass and really weird and just like full of himself, but it's really a good show. And I really like it for that. So it's like one of those things that I could just watch. Now this last season is annoying me. This fifth season. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's getting on my nerves, but cause he has, um, the thing with him is that, that begins the show is that you find out that he's he's got he got issues the main thing is is that the love of his life was killed 12 years ago and her, her murderer and then you know he's it's just been fucking with him ever since and so there's a whole storyline and, and it just gets deep that and that's an ongoing part of the story besides the mysteries that's an ongoing little underlying thing and i like those things that have underlying threads so that is balthazar and sometimes I just like to watch French shows because they sound so sexy. And I got to be honest, I'm not looking at Balthazar. If you watch this show, 
I'm kind of like digging the guy who's Jerome, which is like the, the, he's a cop and he's just, he's supposedly like, you know, lives at home. He's, but he is sexy to me, y'all. I'm gonna have to look him up because I'm like, um, uh, yeah, he, let me put it this way. I do him. He wouldn't be by himself if I was in Paris. <laughs> nope, not at all. Okay, so anyway, let me get off of that. Boom, let me stop that. Okay, so we talked about that. Let's go into, we're going to do a little bit of makeup. Because as you see, I've got my makeup on, a little bit of makeup. And I did this as like a really quick look. I might do this look. I don't know how I'm going to do it, like maybe on a TikTok or something, just really talking about a really quick, easy, you know, just look effortlessly cute. Because I think I look cute today. You know, just giving like serving a quick face for the day. And I think I'm going to start doing this again because I'm looking kind of cute to me. And it didn't take any time or anything. So let me get the products that I use. Well, not everything, but I just want to show y'all a couple of things that because like I said, I'm starting to get back in my makeup. I'm coming back to me. And ooh, I was just reflecting all over myself. Oh, does that good? No, no. So anyway, let's talk. Okay, so let's talk about a little of this. So um, just a few things. This is my Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. Oh my goodness. So this is really good because it actually does kind of blur the, now, you know, we can't get rid of all the pores, but it kind of blurs the pores just a little bit. And it's just, you know, very lightweight on the skin. So if you like to use a primer, this is a good one. Then I have the Hourglass. Um, now this was the begin the end of last year. Um, this was their, their holiday one. Now, this is not the butterfly one because the butterfly one was super light, was never worn. I think this is a tiger, but I went on to the um, hourglass site and you were able to customize which one you did, got. So this is the, now this is just a perfect, I'm wearing it now. This is just a perfect little, you know, the thing with hourglass, if you never know, now let me say this, they are expensive. Okay, so this is expensive. But if you are a type of person, a either if you're not into soup, if you're not into buying a lot of makeup, but you want something that you could just have, and you have everything you need, and you're not willing, and you're willing to, and you want to splurge on it. Not saying that you need to, but if you want to splurge on it, these are these are good when the hourglass comes out on them, and they've gotten better with um, more pigmented um, for, uh, colors. So this one is more for, you know, this was the, this is the deeper one. And so what happens is they build up really well, but they have a sheerness, a naturalness about them. And that's what Hourglass is known for. So these are very natural looking on the skin. You know, they, they blend in well and they look very, you know, I'm going for effortless right now. That's my, that's my word for 2023. Let's go for effortless. So this is like a very effortless way to look. Um, so there we have it. My eyebrows is always effortless, y'all, because they are still going strong for almost three years. Okay. And then this, now I've been seeing this on TikTok with the makeup girls and I finally bought some. And these are these, um, these are these, um, uh, makeup what is this called make a puff i don't know but anyway it's these are really they're i got the black ones because i've seen everybody with the black ones but they're soft and they're like really um soft and, and to the skin and then using with the powder i put the powder on i was like i wonder how it's gonna work it was beautiful it picks up the powder and it really does deposit it really well because i was using my um a powder foundation my makeup forever which i need to get the new one but i'm gonna use up my old ones and then it has the thing for your fingers so it makes it really easy to work with and it's point it has some you know it comes to this so it's really good for under eye a lot of people i've seen use them under eye but i use it all in my skin and under eye but it's just like perfect to use it with your powder so it's really good to place powders and really get it in good 
I still don't know what I'm supposed to call this stuff. You know what it is. <laughs> Just let me know. Um, I think I put this in my Amazon store. So anything that's Amazon related, you will see it in my store. I will check before y'all. I do. I post this video. So yeah, we got this. So that's makeup related. Um, skincare. I've been using kind of the same skincare stuff. So some of that will come up in the empties. But what I wanted to tell y'all about is this. <laughs> I got to find out the price. This is Serum Kind Black Blossom Hand Serum. <clears throat> now, I probably could just use a regular serum. I could. But for some reason, I, and I got this in the FabFitFun box, which I probably put that up before this. But anyway, more that have been using this and baby, it's actually super, really good for your hands. Now, what it says is maximizing, it says black tulip extract, um, helps to fortify the skin's barrier, soothes dry skin and promotes youthful hands all day. Gives your hands a treat. Use it like morning and night. And I gotta say, I like it. Um, I don't know the pricing of it. I will probably look it up and say something about it before I um, put this up. But I'm definitely looking into getting more of this because it is very soothing to the hands because my hands have been super dry lately and it has been helping with it. Now, don't get me wrong. I still use like, you know, my Vaseline because Vaseline honey does the trick. It's a, that's a good barrier. But I would use this first and then put on the Vaseline. Baby, it's on a popping. So that's that. Now, let's get into body care. <laughs> body care is going to take a minute i actually had some sandals i was going to show y'all but i might have to come back down and do that part because oh juicy you got in the house juicy went outside this morning and she i think i thought i heard her cry because she was mad at me because i didn't let her in but anyway not that y'all need to know that at this moment all right so let's talk body care got a lot because i've been you know i know i've been on a body care kick i've been kicking it on the body care so let's talk body care okay so oh i do have one more skincare item before i forget oh and then i got some fails <laughs> i forgot about all the fails so we'll do the fails and then i'll put that in first okay sorry this is Freeman In Shower Warming Mask. This is very inexpensive. Um, this is, um, it's got ginger in it. I think it's got ginger. Yeah, ginger. So this is like, you put it on, it comes on like a gel, and then it, it turns into like almost an oil on your skin. So this is like, you're supposed to like wash your face, then put this on, put a light, you know, put it on lightly, a light covering of it, and then get in the shower. So then while you're showering, the steam and everything helps work in it, and it does. Now, it's not like the super, and it does get warm on your skin. Let me just say that. But, you know, I think that's just like something to make you feel or something, some type of way. But I will say this, is that it is really nice on the skin. And I think it's one of those things that's perfect. Like, if you want to, you know, you feel like you want to. And th Now, this is more for moisturizing your skin. You know, it has collagen in it, um, glycerin. So it's more about the the moisturizing your skin and things and softening your skin so this is not to um you know detox your skin so i think this is good for like somebody uh, one of them times when you like in a rush but you want to look good and so you really want so you're trying to like quick you know do a quick vibe this is good for it because it'll give you that easy breezy way to get your skincare done you know what i'm saying like this is an easy breezy way to get your skincare done for the morning when you're going out so you can get in and enhance your look it's like you know so it's like you're doing two things at once you're gonna take a shower anyway so you now actually give me your it's a little self-care to your skin so that's that all right so we got that all right. Whew, it took me a minute to say that, didn't it? Then let's get into body. So let's start with body washes because we know I'm into a body wash. I had to go get a bag to put them in. All right. So let's talk body washes. Now, I finally started, I finally bought me some natives and I'm in love. I'm really working on using my stuff that I have. 
still gonna buy some more at some point but i'm really using stuff like you know like really doing it up i'm doing it up y'all so this is strawberry and vanilla taffy oh my goodness if you are wearing strawberry since this summer you need to get this hunty this is good and i also bought the peach nectar one which is good too so if you look if you are doing like you know we're doing these fruity fr fruity things you need this in your life you need it in your life I'm telling you, you need it. All right. And then we have now, y'all know I'm a pearly a ho. This is driving me insane. You know I'm a pearly a ho. So I'm just showing you this one because I'm, I might put this up today just to, I don't know. Um, anyway, this is Perlier's Imperial Honey Shower Cream. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I do have a lot of them, but I did not use this. And the thing is, is that I have the shower cream and the body butter because it came as a set. And I have the Imperial Honey Fragrance. <sighs> this is a lightly honeyed floral. It is stunning. It is just really pretty. This is like perfect for the summertime. I'm telling y'all now. So this to get all this together, baby, is doing it for me. And so, yeah, the, now, and I can always say get the shower creams. Do not get the, the shower gels are okay, but the shower creams are the ones. They are so moisturizing they are so decadent on the skin so that is that one now salt hair salt hair is that girl on the streets right now and i gotta agree salt hair is good and it's not that expensive these big old things are like this is like 11 ounces this is no 17 ounces this is like 12 11.99 12.99 at target so i'm not pulling them all out but i have bought four one is more masculine. It's not my style. So I think I'm going to wind up giving it to either DJ or Brandon. But this is Santal Bloom. It is everything everybody says. It, and I haven't mean to get these for a while. So this is Santal Bloom. It's got a little sandalwoody vibe. It's got a little florals. And then I have Lush Greens. And I have Pink Beach, I think. Love them all. These are very... This, they're very good on the skin. They do, they, you know, they say they're a serum body wash and they are because they, they, your skin feels so decadently good after you're done. Feels soft, feels smooth. You know, these are my ones, you know, like a lot of us do this and I don't know if everybody does it, but I do, you know, a double. I do, um, you know, my more cleansing, which is pretty much kind of drying out my skin. And then I come back, double in, come back with something that's going to soften and fragrant, you know, be fragrant. And so this is one of those. And so these are so good that and now let me just be real. So, you know, some this, the, these are good fragrances, fragrance, um, uh, body washes, and the fragrances aren't super loud. Pink Beach is kind of. Um, but they're really, they really will enhance whatever your plan is for your fragrance for that day. Oops, I got an itch. All right. And then finally, <laughs> let's talk about this one. Y'all. Oh, I had it in there. I don't know if y'all can see now. The Naturium, this is the creamy clay body wash now y'all can't see it because it's been laid over but i think i'm down to like right about here now and i just got this in april i use this every time i take a, a shower every time this is fragrance free so this is perfect if you just want to have something on so but it has pink clay in it oh my goodness this honey i've been in love with it every time you use it i feel you know it's just like mm -mm. When you put it on, you feel your skin just getting softer and softer and softer as you went using it. And so I am in love with this. Now, I know everybody uses a glow getter. I said, I'm going to try the glow getter. The only thing I will say about this, and that's why I know it has clay in it, is that sometimes this gets a little stocked up. And so when I'm squeezing it out, it'll shoot out wrong. So I have to check it and make sure that the nozzle is clear of the of that clay because I can tell that the clay is getting there. So yes, honey, 
locks and moisture skin be feeling soft and smooth and wonderful so yeah this is a notorium the hype is real the hype is real all right so now let's get into some other body care let's get with some other stuff and then we'll end it we'll round it up with a little um bath and body works this is jr watkins lemon cream um body oil i'm pretty sure i heard about this from carmen centrix and <laughs> if you want to smell like a lemon pound cake you need to get this this is definitely giving that serving that vibe it's a body oil mist it's very lightweight on the skin it penetrates it's you know got that dry oil vibe which ones does it have it has apricot kernel oil which is what i plan on using with my stuff um it has the fragrance it has sunflower seed oil rosemary vitamin e and some and some soybean oil so yeah it does so the apricot kernel penetrates your skin is soft and the scent is amazing now this one this is jergens sandalwood i don't know how i saw this i think i was just looking up some stuff on amazon which is you know our life is always looking up some shit when we're bored when i'm just sitting around bored i start looking up random things so this is sandalwood now this is has spices in it so this is a sandal a spicy sandalwood but when they say warm they do mean it's warm because it comes off as like almost like a a baked good um but it has the sandalwood and the sandalwood is promised so you get that sandalwood spicy vibe which i think is which is good for like winter time like right now i'm not wearing these type of fragrances but when it was still cold outside i was wearing it with some sandalwood stuff baby it was good it was good now let's talk a few things from bath and body works i'm not going i'm not going to overwhelm y'all because y'all know that i have slowed down on my bath and body works but what i will buy is body butters body creams things like that so they had the 595 sale i did do i did i did do some stuff i did i ain't even go front and say i didn't so this is coco paradise everybody's been talking about it it's good it's a very elevated uh scent coconut this is salted coconut manure sugar neroli and bronze sandalwood this is perfect to go with those like terracotta la parfum stuff like that go perfect with it right because it's got that kind of more i will say some of their fragrance the stuff they've been doing lately is such a, a evolution a bath and body works that makes it like yeah you can get the stuff now am i gonna be getting all the body mist no because i just don't really use them enough to make it worth me buying but anyway coco paradise is it and then this one which is emerald mist this is fresh rain fall sun-kissed pear and blind woods if you are wearing pear based fragrances you need to get this you can already tell that i've been using it she got a little dent in it because i like this this really goes well like if you wear wearing labelle oh baby this will smell so good with labelle i'm just saying so any of your pear based things my pear blossom up there yes honey yes all right now these i just i never really bought bath and body works body butters but now i might have to buy them here and there a um, matter of fact i do want like some ba a backup of these because i really do like them this is um neroli blossom and bergamot if you are a orange blossom wearing soul like i am white floral baby this is good I'm just not loving their shower gels because I really want to get this. But then I'm just going to look for another, a nice orange blossom vibe. But yes, child, this is giving it. This is giving juicy oranges, just mm, that white floral with the bergamots. It is on and popping. Then we have lavender and iris. Y'all, this is killing me this is this is so good it's that it's lavender and iris and i'm not a huge lavender person but it's got that iris and i love iris i love iris and so it is just who it is giving it it is 
their and i will say this their body butter formula is good it's got shea butter coconut oil cocoa butter so it's a really good you know solid you know buttery vibe on your skin but this is like lavender and iris and the iris is really there and it's just giving you that night nice floral iris with a little powderiness which is hard to find that kind of vibe in body products so that is that Oh, I almost got to pull out some candles. Let me get some candles. Before I get to the candles, I almost forgot about these. These are some Josie Marin whipped body butters. Now, if you don't know, if you're new to me, I love the Josie body, Josie Marin body butters. I keep the unscented fragrance free. I use that honey every day. But I got these two. This is vanilla fig. These were on sale. It was a set on wherever, QVC, whatever, carries them. And this is Vanilla Fig. And it is. It's got a little figginess. I've been into fig this year again. So I wanted to have something like that. These came with the body scrubs. And I've already talked about Josie Marin's body scrubs. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Okay. The Josie Marin's body scrubs. Are, they are so good they have the argan oil they're really they're not dry they're they're the oil is in so when you scrub you're exfoliating and then you get this softness to your skin from the oils in it honey i need to do a whole tiktok on them and then this is strawberry dream oh oh my goodness y'all mm this smells like strawberry dreams this is so you know because i've been in a strawberry kick and so i was looking for all these strawberry things so yes honey yes this is doing it too so this is strawberry dreams now let me go get the candles okay so before i get into the ones i like let me give you the, the candle fail this is trader joe's and this is tomato leaf candle don't get this y'all don't get this it does smell like a tomato leaf. It's very green. It's very strong. It's got, first off, look at how they did this. You got this big ass thing. You should have at least had two wicks in here. So it, it doesn't burn correctly. That's number one. Number two is stained. It smells, Brandon loved this thing though, but we hated it. So I took it downstairs because he kept burning it and it's stinking up the house. But it smells like, this is what it says. Enjoy the seasonal aroma of freshly picked tomato leaves with hints of bergamot, rhubarb, and geranium. So all you get is tomato leaves and rhubarb. It stinks, y'all. It stinks. It's too green. It's too much. It's disgusting. No. 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 And I know that was a terrible way of saying it. I'm sure some people love this damn thing. But it was just, no. It smelled like, it smelled like you was just rolling around in the grass. It's not good. Okay, so now let's talk about some good stuff. Now, this one is not burnt because I'm giving it to DJ, but I gave one to Brandon. That was his early Father's Day gift. If you have a man in your life, if you have a son who has his own place, if you have friends, if you have a boyfriend, you go to his house. No, don't get this to him because he might be using it on somebody else. Was that a terrible way to put it? But anyway, your men, dark amber and this is golden amber fresh rainwater this smells like a sexy man's house all day long o m g yes oh this will get your hair this will get listen i came into a man's house smelling like that and it smelled like that my clothes might i might just be like hey i'm just joking but you know what i'm saying you just be like ooh, they have you like that Ooh, yes okay now, I'm only going to pull out three candles because I did like, I have a lot of them that I bought recently and I've been buying a lot of them like the newer ones because I've been getting deals, y'all. What happened was is that they had a sale twice and I had 25% off coupons. That's what it was. So I purchased candles. So it wound up being like $9 and something. So it was almost like going to the candle sale. Because they went down to like $12.95. I had a 25% off coupon. So boom, bit, bam, boom. There you have it. 
So I'm just going to show three of them and because they're all kind of different. Like I, I wanted to buy quite a few that had coconut in it, which was good. I like them. Um, but this is Santorini Coast. This is Creamy Coconut Almond Blossom Warm Vanilla. This is exactly what it says it is. It is just creamy. It got a little almondy vibe to it. It is whew, good for the house. I think about two of these. <laughs> then I have Amethyst Dreams. This is Solar Crystal Smooth Iris Warm Musk. And that's what it's giving. It's giving you the musky iris with a little brightness to it. So this is a little bit different because I want to show some different ones. And then this one is called Ebony Sands right here. Now this one is Ebony Wood Tobacco Petals and Warm Tonka. Something about I like. It's real sexy. Um... The tobacco petals are not super prominent. They're just like very a little bit underneath. But what you really are getting is the tonka with um the with the wood. So the tonka, because you get that kind of vanilla, kind of nutty vibe. It's, yeah. So this is like I could see a man having this on in his house too because ebony sands is hot too i love it it's like you know it's unisex but who a man having this or dark amber and ooh going and you come over and you have a romantic time honey he is setting the mood okay that was it that was it i'm gonna finish up my fit i'm gonna do this i'm gonna throw the fails in i'm gonna film that but anyway thank you hoes for watching i hope you had a good time as always be bold be brave be fearless be free talk to you later